Hello everyone. Today we are going to see one problem based on three-hinged parabolic arch. Let us see the question one time. A three-hinged parabolic arch of span 33 meter and rise 7 meter. The length of the arch is given as 33 meter and the rise is also given as 7 meter. Using that we can draw the arch. It carries a UDL of 45 kN per meter on the whole span. So we have drawn the UDL for the whole span of the arch. Its magnitude is 45 kN per meter. Also this arch carries a point load of 250 kN at a distance of 7 meters from the right end. It is the right end. From the right end the arch is carrying a point load of 250 kN at 7 meters. Then we need to find out the horizontal thrust, bending movement, normal thrust and radial shear at a section 5 meter from the left support. After drawing the arch we have to make the dimensions. 33 by 2 we will be getting 16.5 16.5 minus 7 we will be getting 9.5 meter in this way we can make the dimensions now we are going to find out the reactions first I am going to find out the reaction at the point A VA for that I am going to take movement about B in this case I am moving towards the right hand side the right hand side rules are here clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative the reaction at the point A VA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction so positive and the distance is 33 so 33 VA the UDL 45 kN per meter is acting towards the point B in the anti-clockwise direction so negative when the UDL comes we have to take the distance and distance by 2 so 33 and 33 by 2 the point load 250 kN also acting in the anti-clockwise direction towards the point B so it's also negative the distance is 7 meter using the calculator we can find out the value of VA that is 795.53 kN to find out VB value we have to calculate the total load here the total loads are 45 into 33 plus 250 250 the point load and the UDL 45 when the UDL comes we have to multiply with the distance to get the total load that is why we are multiplying with 33 finally we are getting the total load 1735 kN then VB is equal to the total load minus VA 795.53 finally we are getting VB is equal to 939.47 kN now we are going to find out the horizontal thrust in this arch for that we are going to take movement about the crown which is in the point C the vertical reaction VA is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction so positive and the distance is 16.5 the horizontal thrust H is acting towards the point in the anti-clockwise direction so negative and the distance is 7 meter the rise of the arch finally we are having the UDL which is acting towards the point C in the anti-clockwise direction so negative when the UDL comes we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2 then we are getting minus 7H plus 7000.62 is equal to 0 we can take this value on the right side it will become negative we can cut this negative and negative finally we are getting h is equal to 1000.1 kN in this question we have calculated the horizontal thrust now we are now we are going to calculate the bending movement normal thrust and radial shear at a section 5 meter from the left support at 5 meter we are going to make a point d to find out the bending movement at this point we must know the height we know the formula for finding out the height ox is equal to 4hx into l minus x by l square here h is equal to the rise of the arch x is equal to 5 length is equal to 33 we can apply in the formula and we are getting 3.6 meter now we can calculate the bending moment here also we are moving towards the right hand side clockwise will be positive anti-clockwise will be negative the vertical reaction at A is acting towards the D point in the clockwise direction so positive and the distance is 5 meter we can apply the horizontal thrust is acting towards the point D in the anti-clockwise direction so negative and the height we have already got 3.6 so we can multiply then we are having UDL which is acting towards the point D in the anti-clockwise direction so negative when the UDL comes we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2 finally we are getting minus 185.21 kN now we are going to find out the normal thrust and radial shear at 5 meter from the left hinge 
For finding out normal thrust and radial shear, we must know the shear force and the theta value. We know the formula for slope theta that is tan inverse 4h by L square into L minus 2x. We can apply the values of h, the rise of the arch, 7 meter, the length of the arch, 33 meter, also the value of x, 5 meter. Finally, we are getting theta is equal to 30.598. Also, we can calculate shear force at this point D. Up to this point, we are having two forces, the vertical reaction and the UDL. I am going to calculate the shear force from the point A. Here also we are going towards the right hand direction. When we calculate the shear force in the right hand direction, upwards will be positive, downwards will be negative. The vertical reaction 795.53 kN is acting upwards, so positive. The UDL 45 kN per meter is acting downwards, so negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance. Up to the point T, we are having the distance 5 meter, so 45 into 5. Finally, we are getting the shear force VD is equal to 570.53 kN. Now we can apply the values of theta and the shear force. After that, we are getting ND is equal to 1151.25 kN and RD is equal to minus 17.97 kN. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.